Hello, welcome, you're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. Finally, it became winter and the sky is clear. Uh, my telescope is collimated, uh, everything is uh, set up to order. So I am going to prepare for one night of imaging. Uh, the moon is uh, slightly above uh, half, uh, so I will be shooting some uh, narrowband images tonight to check out the focus. Uh, because of the fast system, I need to put in some offset uh, for a focus position. That has to do with uh, that actually light focus at different points. <clears throat> so for red, green and blue, um, H-alpha, uh, the sulfur filter or the oxygen filter actually need to measure uh, the actual focus points and adjust for uh, the offset. But for now, um, I'm going to roll off the roof on my observatory. Um, I have an iPad set up here uh, with TeamViewer, so I'm just going to open the roof like that. And uh, uh, I'm going to do a home find on the telescope so it finds uh, itself uh, on the sky. Uh, after that, I'm going to set up the sequence uh, which is going to uh, photograph tonight. So, um, follow along, uh, I'll show you how to do that and hopefully you'll get some good images tonight. So, um, let's see uh, what's the photograph uh, tonight. Uh, so, I am now sitting inside and uh, trying to determine uh, what nebula to uh, photograph. And I have set my mind on the IC405, um, the Flaming Star Nebula. It's located in uh, East. Um, so I believe it's a good distance from the moon to begin with uh, because of the, um, let's see how lit up it is um, today. Uh, yeah, 82% lit up, so probably a good idea to uh, photograph uh, some deep sky objects uh, because the narrowband fillers um, actually uh, reduces uh, stray light so um, but let's take a look at uh, how to enter these uh, things into my sequencing program uh, and see how it uh, how it looks okay so this is uh, I have my uh, uh, internet tab open uh, connected to my uh, cloud watcher solo so I can see uh, the weather monitor. Right now it's too bright outside, um, but it's going to drop below the dotted red line anytime soon and this will become uh, green and safe to photograph. Uh, what I've done is that I've done a, a home find uh, so that the mount know where it is and I have parked it uh, as for now. Um, so I'm going to set up the sequence and let's first tick in this box and to see if um, uh, if the cloud watcher is uh, connected or not so uh, we're going to connect to uh, maxim DL um, okay something is happening Ah, that's right. Um, right now the safety monitor is saying uh, that it is... We are not going to activate the safety monitor um, now. 
Okay, so. <laughs> it is telling me that it is not safe. Um, okay, so um, let's program the sequence run for tonight. And uh, let's start off by choosing the flaming star nebula. I've actually already programmed in these coordinates. Uh, if you haven't, you just type in the coordinates in the right session declination, the real uh, epoch or uh, J2000 epoch. Name the target, and you can also auto select the focus star. And the focus star is uh, about magnitude 5, so not too bright, not too dim. Okay, so the exposure settings I am going for is a 275 minute session with uh, H alpha, uh, oxygen, and sulfur, and we can actually see. Uh, that this will end in uh, half past uh, nine uh, universal time so this will be uh, two hours later so approximately uh, almost at midnight local time you can also see here um, that the twilight will end um, in about uh, two hours you can see the sun altitude, it's already set, but it's supposed to be 18 degrees below horizon for the sequence to kick off. Um, it cools down the CCD camera. Um, I already opened the roof, but it will close it for me automatically. Um, when I am at home, I usually uh, open the roof manually. Uh, <laughs> I still want some control. Um, let's see, yeah, it's almost green, so I will pause the recording and um, look at it further when this has hit uh, green. Um, I'm going to measure the focus point for the different filters I am using, and um, to do that in the sequence program, you go to settings and to the CCD tab. Um, if this uh, list is empty. You have to read the filters from the filter wheel. It catches up uh, whatever you have put in the ASCOM driver for your filter wheel. Um, the reason for the luminance filter is highlighted in green is that this filter is uh, the reference filter. That filter is used for plate solving and also for uh, the autofocus. So the way sequence works is that it measures focus with the luminance filter and applies a offset for whatever other filter you are going to use. So it doesn't auto focus with that filter you are going to shoot at at that moment. So it focuses with the reference filter of your choice. You can change that to whatever filter you want to. I will set it to luminance. Then you measure with this autofocus routine the focus point for each filter. What I have done is that I took uh, two or three um, values for each filter and averaged that out uh, and came up with these numbers. You can also enter a negative number uh, and as you can see it's uh, the red and blue uh, differs from the luminance in just uh, 100 of a millimeter. For the H alpha, it is actually um, 18 uh, hundreds of a millimeter um, off. Uh, the O3 and S2 filter is not as much. So um, I hit apply, I save it, uh, and um, that is what I am going to shoot tonight. Okay, so I'm uh, back and uh, we can see that the AAG Cloud Watcher is now green. Uh, it has become uh, um, enough dark outside, uh, so it's sending a safe command. And uh, let's try to. I already uh, put in the uh, the object we're going to photograph, and also the uh, exposures and the filters. Uh, so let's go to the front location and hardware. We're going to activate and now it says okay. 
So we're good to go. I'm going to save that for now. And I'm going to connect to all equipment. And there we go, everything is green. So this is the connection to the mount uh, and the program Autoslew. This is the connection to the focuser, uh, which I am running a um, Prima Luce Lab uh, Sesto Senso. Uh, camera and filter wheel, which is controlled via Maxim DL. Uh, it has connection to the plate solving and also to the, uh, the roof controller, which I am running less with them. Um, it's an ASCOM based um, driver as well as everything else and what I do is I'm going into Maxim DL and hit connect just to see that the connection to the camera filter wheel is working as it should and it does. I'm not going to um, uh, turn on the cooler for the CCD camera because I want the uh, program to do that. Okay, so let's uh, see. Flaming Star Nebula, and we want to shoot narrow band for 275 minutes. And now we have some options. We can uh, make flats, uh, dusk flats, or dawn flats. Uh, I usually start with a meridian pre focus. Um, I can actually choose to run this now. Uh, I do want to wait until it's completely dark outside. It's still um, the sun is still setting, so it's almost uh, two hours left until the sequence will kick in. Um, but uh, let's push, uh, push start a time, and it will wait until it's uh, it's good to go. Okay, the night has gone. Um, this is the day after, and um, I have been checking these images out uh, of the Flaming Star Nebula. Uh, it turned out that I was shooting for um, five and a half hour. Uh, the sequence was finished at uh, three in the morning, and actually the Cloud Watcher sent a no safe command because uh, the clouds roll in, so it uh, parked the telescope and. Uh, um, close the roof for me. Uh, so I ended up with three images short on the O3 filter, which is last. No, excuse me, the S2 filter, which is last in my sequence. Um, but let's check it out. So <laughs> I was very, very eager to see these images when I woke up uh, and to see how this turned out, because uh, this is a basically a, a, a deal breaking moment for me with this telescope uh, after all the uh, troubles I have with this uh, for over a year but let's check it out so uh, let's start with the O3 filter uh, I have already stretched these images but what I'm looking for is uh, the star uh, shape and also the focus point so the focus is quite easy to see on the bright stars, um, if the diffraction spikes is centered as this ones, um, it's it's okay. I might fine tune the focus, but uh, what I'm interesting to see is the star shape, and that looks quite okay to me. Um, it's it's a lot better uh, than it has ever been with this telescope. And notice this is just a single five-minute exposure. Uh, but as you can see, uh, in one-to-one -one ratio, with no zoom, it, it looks good. Um, a bit of deep convolution on this one in the processing. I believe this uh, actually can be be used. Um, so yeah, uh, that was the O3 filter. Um, let's check out the S2 filter. Oh yeah, here we go. So as you can see the difference, the O3 filter uh, didn't recover any data at all of the nebula. Um, here you can see a huge difference. Um, the focus seems to be spot on. Uh, same here, the star shape 
seems to be good. <clears throat> I have nothing to complain about, really. Yeah, th this looks to me amazing. Um, and you can see the nebulosity is uh, starting to come out here uh, in the sulfur filter. And this is also just one single five minute uh, with the moon lit up to 82% uh, shot from in the middle of the city almost. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this one. Uh, let's take a look at the last filter, the H-alpha. Um, and let's have a look at this one. So yeah, look at that nebulosity. Same here, one single five minutes and actually a streak of a satellite here. When I see these images, I am just, if you could see my forearms right now, the hair is standing up. This is a breakthrough moment for me. It feels so good to finally, after almost two years, uh, being uh, uh, up on the horse again. So... Um, I will continue making more videos and possibly more videos when I am shooting my images because this YouTube video has all along been just a tweaking, fixing, tricksing, uh, screwing up my gear. It has felt like like in the bottom of a black hole. <laughs> you probably know what I mean uh, dealing with this hobby. So please follow me, continue my journey to take uh, images of the... Uh, night sky um, subscribe to my channel if you like the videos and uh, give a comment ask any questions uh, that uh, you want me to answer take care out there this is daniel over and out bye